Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Anthony Tamer at Firewalls.com with another WatchGuard how-to video. Today we'll be discussing the first login of your new Firebox and the Web Setup Wizard. To reach your Firebox initially, you'll go to the default address, https colon forward slash forward slash 10.0.1.1 colon 80. If this is the first time attempting to breach the Firebox, you'll likely run into a certificate error which can be ignored. Proceeding should bring you to this page. By default, the username is admin, and the passphrase is all lowercase r-e-a-d-w-r-i-t-e, -E, read, write, no space. Upon your first login, you'll be brought to the Web Setup Wizard. If you have a backup image, you can restore it here. But today we're going to be discussing creating a brand new configuration. Of course, you'll want to read this legal document carefully, but you'll need to accept the terms to move on. The next step is to set up your external IP address. In this example, we'll be using DHCP, but as you can see, you can select a PPPoE address or static. If you're using a dynamic address on your WAN, you'll likely not need to configure this information. As an example, this is what the interface would look like if you were doing a PPPoE connection. And here is an example of the information you would fill out for a static IP address. If you have an internal domain name, DNS servers, or WIN servers, you complete that information here. Next, we need to complete information for our trusted interface which is most likely our LAN. Next, you'll want to change the administrator passwords for the built-in accounts. The first, status, being a read-only account, and the second, admin, being your read-write or full-access account. If you want to enable remote management of this device, you'll select the checkbox here, and enter the remote address that you would like to be able to reach the Firebox from. For now, you can only enter one IP address, but later we'll be able to update this rule to include a group of IP addresses, or in fact in any rule, which would allow anyone on the internet to access this machine if they have the login credentials. However, regardless of how confident you are in your password, opening up access to any location is never recommended. For this example, we won't be using remote management. Next, you'll be asked to provide contact information for your device, including a friendly name, a location, and a contact person. Note that the device name can only contain characters A through Z, capital and lowercase, numbers, a hyphen, or an underscore. If you wish, you can allow your device to provide feedback, which may be used by WatchGuard to improve products and features. Next, you'll set your time zone. In this case, Firewalls.com is located in Indiana in the Eastern Time Zone. As you can see, because our Firebox is already registered and has access to the internet, the feature key was automatically installed, and subscription services will be set with recommended settings based on what services we have purchased. If this situation doesn't apply to you, you will be prompted to log in, which will pull the feature key automatically, or you can install the feature key manually. Next, you'll be given an opportunity to configure some web blocker settings, Obviously some categories are pre-selected, others are recommended, and even more will be available for configuration after initial setup. Then you'll be brought to the summary page which shows what configuration you've completed thus far. Just like that, setup is complete and you can now manage your device by going to the address that you set as your trusted interface. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel for future releases. And if you have any comments about videos you'd like to see in the future, please leave them down below. As always, Firewalls.com reminds you, get secure, stay secure. Thanks.